Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, things pretty quiet across the tri-state today. Some clouds around, a few peaks of sunshine, and just within the last half hour or so, we've now seen showers popping up, most of them to the east of Cincinnati. In fact, the 275 loop is dry, but we are tracking some of those heavier rain showers right up here along the I-71 corridor. You can see how this little outflow boundary here is sparking off a few showers all the way from Bloomington down through areas to the north and west of Wilmington, and then right there in Morrow, We've seen a little bit of lightning from time to time. South Lebanon, Mainville, this is where we're seeing some heavier downpours. All this gradually will move off to the east and begin to fade as we head through the next hour. And then we see a few more scattered showers here down around portions of Bracken County and over here in Grant County too, right around Neve and uh, Powersville and McKinneysburg. That's where we're seeing some more showers in northern Kentucky. Outside, most of us seeing... Well, a scene like this, some clouds, a little bit of sunshine from time to time and temperature wise, we've been in the lower 80s for much of the day. 81 degrees currently, our winds out of the west at five miles an hour and our humidity still nice and high, but that starts to change tonight. All of those showers we saw popping up on the radar, that's a part of our cold front, which has been stuck on top of us for at least a day now. It will start to head east tonight, and that's going to allow high pressure to build in, drop our humidity, and set the stage for a beautiful start to the week. Monday, Tuesday, sunny skies, low humidity, and some very comfortable temperatures. In fact, tomorrow afternoon we'll see a high of 83 degrees after starting off at 62. There may be a little patchy fog early in the morning, but by the afternoon, again, clear skies, plenty of sunshine. Some more high temperatures, 81 in Batesville, 83 in Walton, 81 in Hillsboro, and 82 in Springboro. So this evening, the showers moving off to the east, clouds beginning to fade. Tomorrow morning, maybe a little patchy fog, but as we head on through the morning, we clear out and we stay clear throughout the rest of the day. Sunny skies, quiet conditions, and overall not too much going on for us. Now there is a very weak cold front that will head our way on Tuesday. Maybe a few extra clouds, but you're really not going to notice all that much. So tonight down to 62 under clear skies, not as humid. Tomorrow we'll see a high of 83 with perfectly sunny skies in your seven day forecast. We stay on that not humid side of the scale on Tuesday and most of Wednesday too. As soon as fall starts though, temperatures surge into the upper 80s and we will see a little more humidity, but overall a fairly dry and sunny week.